Welcome to another edition of the Instructional Running Series. Today's topic is speed. I'm Sasha Gollish and I'm a middle distance runner based in Toronto, whose favourite distance is the 1500. The goal with speed work is to get you more confident running faster over a longer period of time. The pace you run your intervals at will vary depending on your training goals and current fitness level. The aim is to practice running faster than what you're used to in order to make those paces feel even easier. Before attempting any type of speed training, it's important to be properly warmed up. You should start with some very easy running for at least five minutes, up to a maximum of about 20 minutes. After getting warmed up, take a few minutes to do some dynamic stretches and running drills. These specifically prepare the body for the demands of running fast. Practice drills like high knees, butt kicks, fast feet, and walking lunges. To finish up your warm-up, do a few strides. Strides or accelerations are 20 to 30 seconds at a hard but controlled effort. You should feel like you're building up to your fastest speed through the stride. Doing this before a speed session does not take that much time, but it is essential to making running faster safer. Try to maintain good posture. Think of running tall. Keep your arms and shoulders relaxed and have a slight forward lean. Your arm swing should be compact when you make contact with the ground, you should land on your midfoot. The contact should be almost directly underneath your hips. Try and think of landing softly instead of pounding the ground. All of this will help you not to overstride. In terms of tempo or cadence, you should take around 180 steps per minute or 90 steps per foot. When I'm doing speed work, I like to think to myself, fast feet, fast feet, fast feet. And I always endeavor to make those first few steps of my stride really, really quick. There are a few recommended speed workouts you can try while training. Those training for a 5K could try 200 meter repeats, just a titch faster than goal race pace with one minute easy in between. Start with eight intervals and work up to 12 or more. If you're training for a 10K, try 400 meter repeats at 10K pace with two minutes of rest between. Begin with six intervals and build up to 10. Running five 800 meter repeats with three minutes rest is also a good option. Throughout your training block, throw in some weeks with 200 and 300 meter repeats, aiming for 3 to 4K total. The shorter intervals will also let you go a little bit faster than race pace, which can also have a great training effect. You want to rest just long enough to recover and be ready to run the next interval. But if you rest for too long, you'll begin to lose the desired effect. If you're new to training or just starting speed work, reduce your number of intervals. You should aim to run the intervals all in about the same amount of time. A mistake I often see with new runners is they go out too hard. Your first interval should never be your fastest. Your goal should be to maintain your pace throughout each interval, but on the last one, go ahead, test yourself a little and see if you can go just a titch faster. Rather than trying to run faster, you should gradually increase the number of intervals you do or reduce the amount of rest in between. This will ensure that you get in a good workout and don't risk injury. 